You are going to love using this free online board game to review any content with your students. I'm Emma Balansai, and I'm going to show you how to edit this board game, add your own questions, add images, and make it your own. Okay, so I want to show you a demo of what this board game looks like when you use it. It has eight movable board game pieces that you can move on the board game. It also has a dice that when you click on it, it rolls and it tells you how many spots to move. Um, you're going to see images here that you can actually change if you want to have a certain theme or depending on the grade that you teach. There's a deck of cards and when you click on it each time, it'll have a different question if you want to use it. I personally didn't use them, but that's an option. And you'll see that I added my own questions whenever I click on the numbers. Um, you can add images, you can add links, anything you want, um, and I'll show you how to edit that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go to flippity.net. You're going to scroll down and look for the one that says flippity board game on the bottom. There are going to be three options. You can look at a demo again. It also has written instructions and it shows you step by step what to do. Um, and then once you're ready to start, go ahead and click on template. When you click on template, it's going to ask you to make a copy of the Google spreadsheet in your account. Click make a copy. And here is where you're going to edit the colors, instructions, the card decks, and customize the spaces on the board. It is very important to not move any of the tabs in the bottom. Don't change these and also don't change anything in the blue boxes. Even though I'm not done editing yet, I'm going to publish it to the web. That way I can simultaneously check my progress and see what it looks like as I'm editing. So let's say I'm done. Um, I would click on file and then go all the way down to where it says publish to the web. Click publish. Okay. Close that. You don't need to copy that link. And then you're going to go back here and the very last tab um, says get the link here. Click there and you're going to see that link. That's the link where my game is going to be published. So I'm going to click on that link and I'm going to keep that tab open at the same time um, that I have my other tab open. That way as I'm editing things I can scroll back and forth and check to see if I've maybe done something wrong or if the link wasn't visible, anything like that. So I really recommend that as you're working on editing the instructions. The first thing I want to edit are these pictures here, like the tire and the coin. And I want to make it something that is more appealing and engaging for my students. And those images are going to be on your spreadsheet here. They're going to be where it says appearance under the column B. So you'll see these links here. And I'm going to change these links to the visuals that I want. So in order to add links, you can't, in order to add a visual, you have to add the URL. You can't just add a visual um, that you have saved on your computer. So I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search something that I know my students are going to like. For example, they're crazy about Among Us. And so I'm going to go to images and I'm going to choose an image that I know they'll love. For example, this one right here. And then I'm going to right click it and click down where it says copy image address. Then I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. And here I'm going to erase that image and paste the new one that I chose of Among Us. And if I go back to my game and I refresh the page, you'll see that it appeared here on number 10. And you would copy this prog the same process for every single visual. I'll do one more example. 
I'm going to replace that tire here on number 18 with another um, cooler image. So I'm searching in Google and I like this blue one. I'm going to click on it and then right click, go down to copy image address and then go back to your spreadsheet, go to that appearance for number 18. And I'm going to erase that image of the tire. It's, it even says um, wheel of the wheel. And I'm going to highlight it, delete it, and then paste the new image that I had copied. And I'm going to check um, how it looks. This is why I like to have them open because sometimes the links don't work. So I have to choose another one. Um, and that way I don't go too far without noticing my mistakes. So here, like you see, it didn't show. So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna pick another one. I'll pick this one, copy image address. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes they, for whatever reason, don't work. And I like to catch that in the moment instead of at the very end. I'm gonna paste the new one and then go back to Flippy game reload that way i can see what i changed and there you go i see my image there so i'm going to follow that same step if you want to change the images for the 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 front cover of your board game if you like them and it doesn't really matter then you can just leave it like that but if you want to customize it that's one way you can do it once you're done editing the appearance of your board game um, and you have it the way you want it to look, we're going to edit what you want each box to say whenever you click on that number. So you're gonna go to your spreadsheet and I'm gonna start with number one and here you can add and move forward five spaces or move back. Um, I like to add fun ones like lose a turn or roll the dice again, or maybe you can even add um, choose a card from the deck. That way they can go to the deck and get the question. So it's up to you, make it fun. Um, um, let's just say I'm reviewing shapes. I'll say something like, I'm gonna change it to say name this shape and I wanna add a visual. So what I'm gonna do is go back to Google and I wanna choose this Pentagon, click on it, remember, right click and then go down to copy image address copy that and then we're going to add two squared brackets like that and it's going to say image we're going to type image and a colon and now we're going to paste that link of the pentagon and i'm going to close that bracket two times again, two times, enter. Okay, so I'm gonna see that was square number one. So I'm gonna go back to my board game. I'm gonna click on number one and there it is. It says name the shape and it has the picture that I selected. Let's do one more example. I'm gonna now do number two so here I'm going to erase what it says there, or you can leave it, but I'm gonna put it on number two and I'm gonna say, how many vertices does this shape have? And now I wanna add a picture of a rhombus. So here I Googled rhombus, I went to images, I'm gonna click on this purple one, and then I'm going to right click copy image address, and then go back here, do put two squared brackets, image, colon, and then paste that link and close it with two brackets again. Click enter, and I'm gonna check here. Don't forget to refresh before you check, and then click on number two, and there you go, there's my image and there's my question. 
you're going to follow those same steps for all of the boxes if you want to add an image or if you want to keep it simple and just add the question but if you want to edit the deck of cards you're going to go to your spreadsheet and here in the bottom you're going to see different tabs um so right now we were working on board game but if you want to edit the card of the deck of cards you're going to go here and it'll show you here how you can add links you can add web images youtube videos anything you want google drawings and edit those um card questions it will pull them out randomly so erase the ones you don't want to use and refresh your page and it'll appear here there are several things that you can also edit here um you can change the visual here that says board game. If you find something else on the web that you would like to add, you can also change these flags here if you find a different image um, or something that goes with your theme. And the way you would do it is here on the spreadsheet on the very bottom, you'll see the links for the finish um, icons and for the name icon. And at the top is the image for the start icon. I like to keep them the same. Um, I like these images, so I'm going to keep them the same. And I'm going to show you one more time how to publish it to the web. You're going to go to File, Publish to the Web, and then it's going to say, OK, you're not going to copy that link. The link that you're going to use for the game is get the link here. And then this is the link that opens up your game. I would recommend that once you have it ready in order for you not to lose it, um, I would bookmark it to the web and that way you can have easy access for it. I hope you and your kids enjoy playing this flippity board game. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel in order to view more teacher tech tutorials.